How are Hello. you? Good morning to you. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? How's life treating you? Oh, it's treating me pretty good. How's it treating you? Is it? No? Getting there first thing in the morning, banging it out. Yeah. We feel like we're in high society land. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Living the life. It's exactly what we're doing today. So, okay, what's the concept for today? Hold on one second. Oh, yeah? Tom! Tom! Where's Tom? I need him to do a hair interview. <laughs> and he would too, actually. He would, because actually the texture came from Tom. Did it? Yeah. Huh. Totally. Um, we, the, the boys came to us with uh, this sculptor, Umberto Boccioni. Uh -huh. um, and it's a really graphic, uh, interesting lines, quite geometric. Um, then they showed me a bunch of films. In the 50s, Rock Hudson films, Douglas Sirk, you know, the saturated colors, mm -hmm. super glamorous, Lauren Bacall, and they talked about Auntie Mame. Huh? And Tom piped up and was like, What about Elizabeth Taylor in Who Killed Virginia Wolf? And I was like, Ooh, now we're talking gorgeous texture. Yes. You know, with that kind of wild curl, really sexy, high society, gone a little awry, had a good time. I got really excited about it, and that's basically where we decided to go. Um, we, we talked about the pictures of Slim Aarons, a lot of old, old, the old Avedon and Penn pictures. You know, the, the hair was always up, and it was always in these big, fabulous, almost triangular shapes. Mm -hmm. It was just a real, unashamed hairdo, and that's where we're going today. And I can show you some images. That we've That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Here's our finished look. So oh, that's really cool. We are going full on old school setting. It's, yeah. it's you know, it's real kind of old, expensive society. Uh -huh. A little bit eccentric. You know, she's had a wild time. Full set. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's set. really. It's cool. actually we're just setting through the back. We've got a French pleat all the way, a French roll all the way through the back, and we're just setting this front area. So again, you know, trying to adapt it so, so people can do this at home. Yeah. And setting a full head at home is it's hell. You know yeah. what it's like. So I remember my mom always doing that, and there's no way I could manage it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard work, it really is. So, you know, we kind of, like, what can we do at the back that's going to be glamorous and expensive, but not require a full-on set? Uh -huh. And it was like, well, let's do the French roll at the back. So we literally just, you can see quite easily back I mean, most people can do a French roll with a ponytail or something like that. It's not that difficult. Uh -huh. We're obviously padding it out, it's a lot more glamorous. Yeah. And that is about the size of it today. Super glamorous, a little bit of old Elizabeth Taylor thrown in there. So you're straightening it first and then back combing yeah. onto it for... So our first, our, the first, the first, the first thing you do, the most important thing when you're preparing any sort of hair for hair dressing like this is preparation. And we're using the styling cream from Rock and Roll. Hydrating styling cream. Uh -huh. And we're mixing it with the spray. Okay. And a little bit of the new frizz control. They've just introduced a new frizz control. Oh, yeah. So we've got the frizz control, you've got the guts of the styling cream, and you've got the hold of the hairspray. And really, I think this is what it's about first is, you know, when you start cocktailing the products, you get really good results. I mean, I've just got three hairs in the ticky here. And have a look. You've got a yeah. lot of, you know, it's very easy to get a result. Put the spray on, and start whipping it into shape. You hold, are you holding it in with the bobby pins? Or is there yeah. going to be a time? Okay. It's just old school, like old yeah. school French roll. Yeah. Oh, see, that's. Just rock, just rock your head forward. Pass me some bobby pins and I'll throw it up for you. With all my life. Maybe I'll wait for it to stop moving. <laughs> it's going to be, be a, bit, a bit mad otherwise. <laughs> How are you doing there, babe? You alright? Lovely, that looks like it's going up a treat. There you go, here's your crisscross technique. Yeah. Sarah's rocking the crisscross here. So, the thing with the bobby pins is if you want them to stay, interlock them and crisscross them. And always good at the base of the hairline. You know when your hair tends to fall out in a hairline? Just pop an extra one in, just really push, push it in and try and get it to overlap one of the others. And you'll find the little ridges will just hold it in. You see how it holds it nice and tight in the back there? Yeah. And then it means that. All this is held tight here, and then the rest of it just rolls on top. Very neat. Very cool. That's great. 
do one from scratch. Here's the crisscross from the Start right in the base of the neck. Just turn your head to me. There you go. Oh, yeah. There's our base shape. So you can see they all kind of interlock a little. Yeah, they don't have to be full X crisscross. Just, well, like no, just like a little interlock, just where it holds. I mean, in the bottom here, I like to stretch it a bit. Can you bring this hair around? Peter, um, we're doing the French twist, and then after the pink curl set, we'll let the pink curl set as much make. as possible. Yes, yeah. okay, great. Thanks. Bye. Everything else just becomes prettification. Take some practice. Yeah. You know, get a nice, beautiful, strong shape out of it. 
and it, it's not overly clean, it's not like kind of overly crushed, you can do it so it's easy, fun. Yeah. And then they're pin curling the front and then letting yeah. it dry and then... Yeah. You've got to brush it out wildly. Nice. That's the easy part. The brush out is the fun part. Yeah. And we, you know, there'll be a fair amount of old school back combing around the front as well. So, you know, we're doing For the stand up. back to hairdressing. You know, this isn't about, you know, doing this at home. You get an, an, an effect. You'll be able to kind of do it a twist up maybe with a ponytail. All the back combing is not really to you. This is old school. Yeah. You know, this is badly Mishke. It's all about glamour. That's true. It's great. Thank you very much. Thanks, honey. Take it easy. You too.